Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Now, as you know, this was the second installment in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Now, this one literally picks up at, right after the first film, so obviously meaning that the, the credits at the end were just technically non-canon. So the premise of the film picks up literally after the events of the first film, where Swallow Falls is now covered in food, and Flint and the others are now relocated to an area that is meant to parody San Francisco. Now, we're introduced to Flint Hotwood's Lockwood's childhood hero, Chester V, who's meant to be a parody of Steve Jobs, and he comes off as this tech guru and inventor. At the same time, there are major hints that, he, that he's up to something, and he's also meant to represent what Flint's life would be like if he made all the wrong choices. Now, much like Flint, Chester V does have a kind of psychic who's an ape called Bob, who's a orangutan, and voiced by the same person who voiced Maybell in Gravity Falls, Celerin in Bulljack Horseman. Now what's interesting is we see the other characters now becoming better people. For example, Brant isn't Chicken Brant is no longer self-absorbed in his fame, and he kind of acts like a good friend, and kind of like added there to try and show that he's moved on from his fame. Oh, who is the police officer who kept harassing Flint Wood, and is now voiced by Terry Crew? He's kind of like the more kind of guy who's there and to be the extra muscle help. Sam and Flint in this one kind of act still like boyfriend and girlfriend, and what's interesting is that it's what's interesting is that. We see that the island where where Flint and the others were were taken out of, Flint's food machine had survived the crash landing and has now began to create sentient food. Now, this never really came to Flint or the others to go out afterwards to make sure that the machine wasn't still there. I mean, in most stuff, something can always survive. Now, at the same time with Cloudy Chance People 2, we see what the other foods are like. They are, there's actually like shrimpanzees, crocodile dog taco creatures, there's even like pickle like creatures, leeks on boats, and so on. Now, what's actually interesting is that it took them literally from 2009 all the way to 2013 to try and do a new Cloudy of a Chance of Meatballs film. Now, at the same time, what's interesting is that Mr. T never returned to, to revive his role as Earl, the officer guy, so instead we have Terry Crew. And I mean, I actually like Terry Crew as an actor. He's quite enjoyable and actually a great actor. Now, what's also interesting with Cloud of Cancer Meatballs 2 is the film is basically Flint coming to realise that maybe working for Chester V isn't what it seems to be, and there are hints that Chester V is obviously up to something. Now, I do admit the film isn't too bad. It has a good plot, and kind of has this food-like, animal-like environment. And we see Swirl Falls as a kind of jungle Jurassic Park-like era. Now, I do admit Crowded with Chance Meatballs 2 is definitely an okay film. It has an interesting plot, we see the characters trying to become, we see the characters now more improved than what they are, and we see them, and we see them going through new tests and new struggles. My only concern is like, why didn't Sanders move back to New York after the whole thing, and why was she like relocated back to San Francisco with the others? And question of all. I was expecting one character to pop up was that the mayor voiced by Bruce Campbell. So it's never known what happened to him. So I'm guessing that the end was supposed to show that he obviously died after eating his ship. So what do I think of the film? It is definitely a good film. It's not bad. It's still okay. So it deserves a good thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So comic reviewer here.
Signing out.